Welcome to the Jeffrey Henderson Show. We have another great show for you today. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. You're listening to KLAS 89.7 FM Radio, Hollywood, California, where all of your dreams can come true. Live call-in numbers are 323-962-1937 or 323-962-1938. That's how we do it on the Jeffrey Henderson Show. Let's go to our callers. Welcome to the Jeffrey Henderson Show. Who's calling and what's on your mind? Big Jeffrey Henderson, Ken McCoy. How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good, Ken. How are you doing, sir? Man, man it's crazy. First off, calling the station, man, you got it all locked down. You can't <laughs> even, if I tried to call you to say, Jeff, get out, get out of the building, I couldn't get through to you, man. Hey, Ken, I'm certainly sorry, man. It's been... The phone lines have been going crazy, man. I got Ann on right now, and I haven't got a chance to introduce her yet. And uh, everybody's calling in already, man. The lights, I mean, the phones are just lighting up. I'm so excited. I cannot believe it. So that's why I apologize to you and everybody else that's been calling in already, man. I tell everybody, give me a chance to set up, man. Give me a few minutes because everybody be on me. <laughs> I, I definitely understand. It is so much going on this weekend. Of course, we are reporting live. Of course, last night we covered the ASCAP event with, of course, Diddy, Neo, Mary Mary, and more. We covered it at the Beverly Hilton, kicking it with Diddy, Diddy style. I told everybody he was already in the building. They didn't believe me because I saw his Bentley. They don't know that. His Bentley, he had his Bentley there. He went around the block and came back. I told you, I said, y'all be ready. He told the video people, y'all back off the videos, and he rolled up and came right and kicked it. It was real cool, and I just want to say it's also BET Weekend, BET Festivities 106 and Park kicks off at 2 o'clock tomorrow at the Shrine Auditorium live on BET, and then of course the red carpet kicks off. They're expecting so many different surprises tomorrow. The whole area of, of the Shrine Auditorium <laughs> is on double lockdown, I'm telling you right now. So everybody that's not connected with the show, don't go near <laughs> the Shrine Auditorium, 31st, 32nd, Figueroa Street, Shrine Area, USC, it will be on lock. They are charging people, they are charging people to park and look if, they, if, if it's going down that tight. Because you know it's, they have all A-plus people coming to the 11th Annual BET Awards, and it's going to be at the Shrine Auditorium. And then immediately following the BET broadcast, check out Time Warner New York Channel 503 for Ken McCoy on Let's TV. And in California, check it out on 238 on Comcast. We're doing some things, Jeff, and I just want to let everybody know what's going on, where it's happening, because it's a very, very busy weekend. But we're excited for some things that you're doing too, man. So I just want to say congratulations to you. And uh, I, I wish you all the best with everything that you're doing, man. Hey, Ken, we certainly appreciate it. Have fun at the BET Awards, man. It should be really nice out there on tomorrow, man. And they got a pre-show going on right now as we speak at BET. So if you can get in on some of that stuff, too, get in on that, too, as well. I know last night the ass caps was, was kicking. I couldn't be everywhere, man. I missed it this year, man. I just I can't be everywhere and do everything. But how was that ass caps last night? Actually, the ASCAP was cool. You, again, you had Diddy, Mary Mary. You had a lot of the writers that write all of the hottest songs for people. Yeah. You, 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 you know, Neo showed up. and uh, But the other thing is you got a lot of the writers that wrote the songs. Uh, you know, the one for uh, Jamie Foxx, Blame It on the Alcohol, that yes. writer. Yes. Uh, 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 Tricky Stewart was there. Hey, uh, how, how, about, how about Jimmy Jam? He's always there. Jimmy Jam was not there. However, Neil Portnow, okay. his buddy in the same association of the Grammys, okay. showed up with Su Suzanne DePass. And Suzanne DePass has a new artist she's bringing out as well. So, yeah, there was a few few insider things happening. You could see posturing. They had a guy walking through that looked like T.I., and, and we was kind of discussing it as it was happening. You had people outside the hotel trying to shoot inside the hotel. <laughs> they had a double roped off red carpet area. They had the video at one side, the shooters at the other side. But it was a, it was a very cool event. Top-notch security. Everybody was cool and, 
and jovial, so it was a very, very elegant event. Everyone was dressed accordingly, and of course, when Diddy made his appearance, he made his appearance known, but he did spend time with people, and he and I actually had a chance to chat about some Atlanta connections that we both have, so it was a very nice event. That's Again, good. It's a full weekend, Jeffrey, the Jeffrey Henderson Show, and i got to say this to all the listeners out there. I was in Central California doing a TV show, and a lady at a vendor booth says, you sound familiar. Were you ever on the Jeffrey Henderson Show? And I said, ma'am, you've got to be kidding me. She <laughs> says, no, that's my cousin, and I remember listening to the show, and your voice sounds familiar. Were you ever on the show? And I, of course, called Jeffrey's number, and, of course, Jeffrey spoke. she spoke to Jeffrey, and she spoke to Jeffrey. And then, Jeffrey, you know what she did? She handed the phone to another lady while I'm doing a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be on the show, because I said, roll camera on this. And then, <laughs> I was trying to go live and host an event on stage, but I couldn't go, because the lady had the phone. She put her hands on her hips. She started telling old stories back when y'all went fishing or something. I'm going, like, give me a phone. <laughs> That's so it's right. All good. It's all good. But I got to tell you this, Jeff, before I get off the phone, I may be going to New Zealand and Australia next year, and I cracked up when I even heard about it. Because <laughs> I said, I'm going to tell Jeffrey, and they believe it. I'm saying they go with your <laughs> You know, Ken, that gets to me every time you do that, man. That's totally, totally amazing. Anyway. These accents, I love accents, man. I really do. <laughs> that Australia, that Australian accent. It's like when you, when you pay somebody. I went to Sacramento recently. I was dating a lady said like this. She says, it's not your money. It was so nice. I was like... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know me. What you, you do now? I'm Susan Lee. Okay, Susan. Are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> I can't. Kid, <laughs> anyway. you gonna give me a heart attack over here, man? That is brilliant, man. <laughs> I, just, I just have a lot of fun, man. And like I said, I just want to wish you the best, man. And and. Uh, have some fun doing your thing, man, and you know, we'll, we'll be definitely connecting soon, because uh, there's some television stuff we do need to be talking about, so I will definitely keep you in the mix. Ken, I certainly appreciate that to the utmost, man. This is a way to start off the Jeffrey Henderson show. Now I'm in a perfect, great, excellent mood, man. That accent, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's a thrill to hear you do that each and every time, man. It's like the first time I ever heard it. Wow, wow. Man, that's well, good. You that's know, good. We have so much fun. And, Jeff, you know what? We're living our dream. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? Last yes, sir. week, I was on stage hosting a show. I was the MC. I took a break from the show for an hour and a half to go cook on another television show. I cooked two types of chicken, mesquite, <laughs> mesquite teriyaki and Memphis chicken. I did a, we had a live studio audience. I took a survey. They chose the Memphis chicken over the teriyaki mesquite. So, <laughs> and the video was a is available on my Facebook page, Chemical Entertainment. They can see a clip of the video. Anyway, it's all good, and we have a lot of fun doing what we do, man. So, <laughs> keep up. Hey, Ken, you're going to end up with a cooking show. I'm telling you. Man, you know how to cook too. Just give me, just give me something—a sample of something that you've cooked lately in your backyard or in the house or whatever. Give me something yeah, real quick. Anybody can go on my Facebook page and see photos. However, what I do like to cook are grilled mesquite teriyaki wings. What I do is I marinate the teriyaki wings in a tomato sauce with a layer of teriyaki. I smoke it for about 15 minutes. I puree the meat and the mussels, and then I smoke it as I lightly flame and base the teriyaki over the chicken, let it smoke, get it golden, golden brown, poke it for the juices, and then let the tomatoes cry out in joy. <laughs> That's very good. That's wonderful, Ken. Man, we appreciate that, man. We certainly do. And, uh, man, you enjoy yourself tomorrow at BET and everything else that you do. We certainly appreciate you representing and helping out the Jeffrey Henderson Show for the last nine years. We appreciate you.
Well, Jeffrey, we appreciate meeting you nine years ago on the Oscar <laughs> red carpet. Well, you remember? <laughs> we appreciate you, and we want the Queen herself to one day call your station. But you know we're international, so we don't have to have guards on the phone. <laughs> You wait till people see. You wait till people see this on YouTube, man. It's, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> hey, Ken, have a great weekend, man. Take care of yourself. I'm Robin Lynch from the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> okay, have a good one. okay, man. You too. All right. Take care, Ken. All right. Bye, bye. That's how we do it on the Jeffrey Henderson Show.